the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps IRGC, officially achieved missiles with a range of 5,500 to 12,500 km by launching the COM-100 satellite launch vehicle. Intercontinental Ballistic Missiles ICBM, are a type of ballistic missiles that can travel a distance of more than 5,500 km. These missiles have the ability to reach a flight height of more than 300 km. In the past years, Iran has also built many rockets in different classes and with different fuels to develop its space technology infrastructure and has been able to reach a flight height of 500 km. In the latest example of the Iranian satellite launch vehicle, SLV, this missile has changed significantly compared to its previous example. The COM-100 satellite carrier with the capacity of carrying 80 kilograms of cargo has had many changes compared to the previous COM SLV. In the released footage of the launch of the COM-100 satellite, shortly after the launch, the rocket quickly changes direction, therefore, a solid fuel engine with a moving nozzle has been used. Iran has a type of this engine called the RAF, lifter, engine. As it is clear in the video, due to the composite body and the high power of the RAF engine, the COM-100 satellite carrier has great acceleration. The lightness of the engine, the moving nozzle for the engine and possibly the use of a new combined solid fuel can be mentioned as the new technologies used in the COM-100 satellite carrier. As a result, due to the use of new fuel with high energy density, extreme thrust, and the use of an all-composite engine, which has reduced the overall weight of the missile, the acceleration has increased greatly, and Iran has practically reached a range of over 5,500 kilometers. It is worth mentioning that the launch of the missile that was carried out in the form of the COM-100 satellite carrier test is very similar to the USM GM-134 Midgetman missile with a range of 11,000 km. In this way, respecting to the ability of the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps, if Iran intends to produce intercontinental ballistic missiles, it will have all the necessary technologies. Modern technologies at the disposal of the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps allow the construction of missiles with a range of 5,500 to 12,500 km in the form of two-stage and three-stage solid fuel. And it will be possible to attack the desired targets in Europe and even in the American continent. This huge achievement has made Iran one of the few countries that have this technology. The Hebrew Arab and Western Axis have also felt threatened by understanding this fact and have become extremely afraid of what Iran has achieved in the field of deterrence power through intercontinental ballistic missiles. Meanwhile, Ahmed Hosseini, spokesman for the Iranian Ministry of Defense, announced the second test launch of the Zuljana satellite carrier to achieve research objectives. According to Ahmed Hosseini, spokesman for the Ministry of Defense of the Islamic Republic of Iran, the Zuljana satellite carrier is in three phases. This satellite carrier has two phases of solid propulsion and one phase with liquid propulsion and its launch has been done with the purpose of suborbital.
Also, the third phase of the development of the satellite carrier has started by using the information obtained from this launch. The first launch of Zuljana satellite carrier was made on February 1, 2021 from the Semnan Space Center. The main mission of the satellite carrier is to place a satellite with a weight of about 220 kg or 10 lighter satellites with a weight of 20 kg into 500 km orbit. The length of Zuljana is 25.5 meters, its diameter is 1.5 meters and its weight is 52 tons. After Safir and Samorg satellite carriers, Zuljana is the third Iranian non-military satellite made in the country. Due to its agility and low preparation time, Zuljana is mentioned by some Western experts as the first subcontinent missile of Iran. Iran's satellite program, like other Iranian indigenous capabilities, has always been criticized by Western countries, especially the United States, for alleged violating UN Security Council resolutions. They see Iran's advances in the field of aerospace science as a significant concern for the proliferation of nuclear weapons.